Oh hi there big boys and welcome to Hippo Campus. Odd name? Yes. So this is an Unreal Indie, uh, I guess, sort of s s fighting game. I'm a little bit concerned because the menus are weird. Uh, this is never a good start, but also the sensitivity is way too, too low. And I need to... Actually, it's good. Mm. Is it... It might have might have messed up because it might be doing the okay whatever we'll ignore that for now no that's fine okay press A to jump press it twice to double jump yeah okay that works cool always look carefully at the environment around you okay why ah because you can go up there I see okay to do so movement doesn't feel terrible doesn't feel particularly amazing feels quite sort of um not floaty but kind of I don't like the camera to be honest, but um a bit sort of not horizontally very far but vertically very far. Find the sprint and jump to fill long distances. Okay. Okay, that's a bit better. If you do a sprint, that's a bit better. Alright, jump on orbs to use that power. I will. Each colour has a different effect, okay. One thing I've got to say immediately is the introduction, which you didn't actually see in this video, was kind of a bit odd because uh the, the sound of the woman speaking was really quiet but the sound of the I don't even know what it was, sort of the raindrops and stuff was oh that was cool animation was uh, really loud so I guess that's just sort of like a jump higher thing okay cool what's that? white orbs are effectless when you jump on them use them to unlock locked orbs okay carry orbs or launch okay alright catch the orbs and aim da da hit it well done Hit that. Ooh. That uh, didn't really help me. Ah, uh, you could. Oh, I see. You could jump again after you hit that. Okay. Now, what's that gonna do? Whoa. Uh, okay, that's a longer one. Alright, cool. Access new arrows by pressing RB or RT. Okay. That just means open doors. Okay. Graphically, the game is uh, not terrible at all. It's pretty decent. It looks good enough, at least for me. Uh, chase selection using LB or. Uh, uh, what? Oh, what well, different guns? Different weapons. Okay. Pre no, use B to summon all wild. Okay, that's dodge normally, but then if you press B, it does that. That's a bit confusing. Uh. Oh, sorry, now I can't pick up the. There you go. Okay. So. I see. Okay. There's a bit of delayed sound effect there. A bit odd. I sort of understand what this game is, but I sort of don't. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay, we did it. Technically. I want to beat something up. Aha, pick a weapon and summon up pressing X. Alright, cool. Each weapon consumes memory bar. Oh, no. Okay. Memory bar doesn't consume it instantly. Alright, I think you may have forgotten a word there. You will, or a letter rather, you will die when the red bar reaches the end. Okay. Sounds very pleasurable. For more action, send tutorial. Okay, I will do. I'll do that. Block the enemy. And then beat him up. Mut mutilate enemy bodies? <laughs> God. Hit T times with the sword to mutilate, hit time with the axe to. Okay, release R2 distract. Oh. Aim for a limb with left. Oh, so it's a bit like sort of uh, the surge. I don't, I don't seem to be able to aim limbs, so... Oh, I see. If you hold it down, then you can do it. Okay. That's so strange. And then you can also just do that. Alright. Hmm. That's kind of weird. I don't know how to feel about that. Anyway, um... Yeah. Oh. So it's... Combat doesn't feel amazing. But it's not terrible either. It's relatively feels relatively good to uh, beat people up. I'd say the biggest problem is sort of the sort of camera getting in the way. Once again, oh, it's be and also how you can't just press R2 to do immediate uh, attack. You got to hold it down for like a long time. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, there you go. Um. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know about this game. It is this. You can tell that they, this game had heart put into it, so that's good. Did you beat up the? 
see that's another thing I think is that once you've started attacking, if you want to sort of change where you're aiming, you sort of can't. Because if you put the analog stick somewhere else, it will continue going in the direction where you are attacking currently, which is a bad thing. Uh, I don't know if that, if that what I just said makes any sense, but it makes sense to me, so. Hopefully it makes sense to the people playing, or um, the developers. Okay, so what do you want to do here? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Also, it's a bit like it's stuttering, even though it's running at 144 FPS. Not sure why that is. That's a bit of a bit odd, but it might be nothing. Might be, might just be my computer using strange amounts of uh, V-Sync or whatever. Well, I'm not using V-Sync. I use FreeSync. Anyway, how do I get out of this? Because I haven't got any of those things to figure out. Ah, there we go. White orb. Yeah, I feel like you should be able to go high, f like slightly further horizontally. What's been a what? Oh, we got to pick it up, don't we? And then we throw it somewhere. Don't you? Something like that? I don't know. The control scheme this game's a bit odd. Uh, okay, what do I do with it? Put it over there. There you go. Okay. It's an odd mechanic, that, but I do sort of understand it. Okay. It reminds me a bit of, like, Gravity Rush, this game. I don't really know why. It sort of does. Oh, oh, oh. No. I think it's sort of like a weird sort of like how you see like you know how the camera sort of goes a bit tipply, turvly, that's not a word. Right, where do we go from here? Where do we go now? Um we haven't got any things to do cool star. Can we just make the jump? Maybe. We can make the jump. Okay, cool. Next area. Let's see, does this game have achievements? This game does have achievements. This is another thing we've got to test before. This is what I check for every game. Often within the first 10 minutes. Ah. The game does not support Steam Cloud. Now that is that is a shame. Uh, to be fair, my game doesn't support Steam Cloud. Uh, Battle Blade. Buy on Steam. Battle Blade. Uh, the reason it doesn't support it though is because uh, I'm using player prefs. Uh, for Unity. And that's not a thing which makes any sense in a... In the game which I'm making, because you can't not player press. You can't basically assign player press to Steam Cloud. Right, what am I doing? Power up attacks. I don't like how doing special moves and stuff gets rid of your health and stuff like that. I think that's a bit of a silly mechanic. So if you hold it, that's really weird. Because if you just hold down the power up button, you'll die. But not even holding it down, it's just pressing it once. I don't like that mechanic at all. Okay, um, we'll try powering up just like that. Uh, okay, just yeah, we used it there and it works. But don't like it. Okay, knock up. What? What's knock up? I'm pressing R two. What are they trying to tell me to do? Knock up. Oh, let's try to tell me to power up. Then ah, okay. You have to be powered up and then use knockback. Okay. That isn't, like... That is not... Like... <laughs> it's a little bit finicky, isn't it? Okay, um... How are we going to do this without dying immediately? Alright. After knock up heavy R2 or light RB. Do I get it back for killing an enemy? For memory thing? I do not. So how am I going to do this? Actually, I think you get back from tearing off limbs or whatever, don't you? Alright. Okay. Oh, God. Ah! Uh, it's being finicky. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, this is, this is getting difficult now. Okay. What I'm going to suggest right now is we just try and dismember him or whatever. Like that. Alright. That's actually quite, a cool, quite a cool feature, to be fair. Quite like that. Alright, so we've got a bit more of a thing. We can do that. Oh, okay. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. I like that a lot. I like that an awful lot. That's a really cool feature. It's, uh, it's a little bit... I mean, because of the power of the system. It's a little bit f uh, finicky. I would have wished you could do that all the time. Cause it's really cool. I like that a lot. Alright, cool. I mean, I'm going to forget that exists pretty soon, I reckon. But still, I like it. Okay, what do we do now? 
Um, what's the black orbs do? Don't really have to die and do it again. If I'm honest, I'm a bit worried. Okay, so the black things take you to different areas. Okay, the black. Oh no! Don't, don't have to do it again. Don't tell me I've got to do it again. Or I'll get in a mood. No, okay. So we're just going the black portals. Uh, da -da. Cool. Hit the button to activate mechanisms. It's a really weirdly designed game, isn't it? It's quite obscure. It feels a bit like a random game you'd find on the, I don't know, dark web or something. Even though it's actually quite well made, to be fair. It is quite a well made game. It's just a bit sort of confusing and weird. I, was, I, was, I forgot what the red orb does. Oh my god. What? Okay, I would have liked the warning. <laughs> Cause that was <laughs> that was interesting. Um, let's try that again, I guess. So how are we going? What do you have to go there? I guess. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! Okay. <laughs> this game. <laughs> that bit is a little bit difficult to use, to say the least. Okay. We'll carry on. Oh my God! This game. Such an odd game, isn't it? It's just sort of weird. Like, I don't even know. Especially the movement. Okay, that's. I guess you just sort of aim to where you want to go and it does it. Okay. I've sort of got it. But then how are you supposed to know where you're meant to go after? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, what's this? We go down it. Yeah. And you. Oh. What's here? Oh, the enemies. Kill them! Come on! Uh, yeah, that's one of the biggest problem is what I said about how if you start sh sh attacking someone, you can't like sort of stop midway and then change directions. If that makes sense, sort of a uh, little bit of a quality of life feature. I feel like I guess they do that sort of dismember thing, so it forces you to. If you want to get your health back to do, you know, you can't just spam R1 and RB all the time, which is, I guess, a good thing. Let's just try it now. Okay. Yeah, it does work. Just about. Uh. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh. Oh. Wait, am I dying? Have I got to dismember someone to get my health back or something? Is that what I was trying to say? I don't know. Oh, uh, what? Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little bit confused about stuff like that, to be honest. Um. Okay. Okay, there we go. I think for that guy, it's a little bit annoying to dismember. All right, let's just do it normally. Can you dismember while doing R1? I don't think so. No, I don't think you can. Okay. Oh, there we go. That works. Get some more health. Lovely. Okay, is there anywhere else we can go here? Or was there no point in killing those enemies? Uh, can we go up there? You can. Place Laurelel on pressure plates. See what you can pick her up. Uh. Okay. What pressure plate? Ah, what's that? We've got ourselves a little book. Okay. This game. I just don't have a clue. It's down here. Or is that oh that's uh, okay, that's where we got a, uh, okay, that's the pressure plate there. Okay, so we had to, we did have to do that. Alright, that's fine. Uh, lovely. Oh no, we're gonna die. Oh we're gonna die again. Oh god, it's actually really quite hard. Ah, there you go. I do quite like how if you die you can sort of get your health back or like get damaged. That's always a good feature. Okay. Uh that's, there we go. Cool. Summon Laura here pressing W on D pad. Okay. Got it. Janil. Yes you can. Come here. Come here. No, okay. Uh there you go. Go there. Where is she? That's no, not there. Oh, you're gonna get annoying, this Lorelei lady. Go there. There you go. 
Okay. I assume that worked. Okay, and that's because that's now... Yeah, alright, so now you can go on there. It's a little bit difficult to control in the air sometimes. Now you go down here, and we've done it. Lovely. Oh, no, we've got a boss. Oh, not a boss, just an enemy. Oh, I do quite like fighting the enemies. It does feel quite fun. I just wish you sort of didn't have to hold down the button to do dismemberments, but I sort of understand why, because otherwise it would be quite easy. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay. There we go, but you can dismember to get your health back. Lovely. Okay. I like it. I reckon we're going to just do uh, a few more minutes of this, and then we'll turn it off. Right. Uh, that's bad, and that's good, I suggest. Okay, uh, would you have enough time to do it? No, okay, we're gonna have to uh, do it quickly. Okay. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, instead, what we're gonna have to do is probably jump midair. Or, no, you can just go on the hang on the edge. Okay, don't know if that was by design, but that works. Oh, is this a boss? No, but it is some enemies. Alright. Oh no. It's quite easy to die. I feel like your health should regen if you're not fighting any enemies or something like that. That would that'd be good. How about we try the the other the other gun? Or the other weapon rather. Oh. Never mind, we can't. I did but it didn't make any difference. That's a bit weird. Alright, we'll, well we'll give it another Ah Why don't you regen with full health and regen like while not fighting enemies and stuff, that would just make sense, wouldn't it? That's actually really easy to do. Uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Let's do it again. Might be easier now. Aha! Uh -huh. Just actually dismembering people isn't like it's not a guaranteed thing. And if if that's a good thing or not to you is a uh, a decision you have to make. Okay. I do feel like so it's like sort of the surge mixed in with like I don't know some sort of puzzle platformer game. Like come on, that's my point there. It's like I did a dismemberment to get him back, or at least I was trying to. I don't know about I don't. I feel like it should give you a bit more of a warning. I don't know. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Okay, because you just know it's gonna get annoying. Ah. Uh, See, like there, it's like he hit me twice and I die, but because I don't do a regen thing, it doesn't work. Oh, you keep a hang. Okay, I feel like there's a quite there's a lot of sort of things like that which sort of prove to me the game's a little bit janky. Leaves a little bit of work. I don't know if it's getting updates or not. Still, I presume it is because it's just good to be an optimist. I get actually it sort of isn't, but I don't know. Alright, maybe if we just try and take it slowly and just sort of be a bit more on the actually sort of be a bit more aggressive. Might be out might be better for me. Can you not damage can you not dismember them when they've got blue stuff or something? Is that a mechanic that I didn't know about? Okay, I think that is a mechanic I didn't know about. Yeah, that's a mechanic I didn't know about. Okay, that's a lot easier to know. Okay, pick up Lorelei. Get damage that. That didn't help. Okay, maybe it did. Cool. Go down here. And... That doesn't help. Okay, so I guess that door was meant to open. It didn't open. Didn't they say earlier about opening doors by hitting them? Or did they not? Uh, I couldn't tell you if I'm honest. I sort of forgot. Um, I assume that's where we have to go, but there's nothing here we've missed. What are we doing here? We opened the door, didn't we? Unless we have to get Lorelei to come out. Uh, I've actually got. Oh, I've no, I've got a orb thing. What can I do with the orb? I can go up there. Is that it? Oh God, this is gonna end in disaster. I was right, and now I've lost my orb, so what do I do now? Unless I get it back? Okay, if I have to do the kill the men again, I'm going to get in the mood and turn it off. Uh, because 
That's kind of annoying. It's kind of janky to control. Is it? It's not. Okay, that's fine. So then you you attack that. Cool. You pick up her. You realise you've been recording for too long. So how are we going to do this? Because it's really... There we go. And then you open that. Oh god. Am I going to die here? Okay, what's up? Well, we did miss something up there. Is that where we have to go now? Because I sort of hope it isn't. Because that sounds annoying. Uh, Alright, we might have to turn it off now. Because I keep forgetting to... You know, we don't know how long how long a level is. And then we're getting screwed over. Or do we have to go in here? Or... We go in here. Alright, that's fine. Because there's secrets up there. I don't care about secrets that much, to be honest. Cool, we did the level. Right, so that's Hippocampus. It's actually not terrible. I wouldn't say um wouldn't say it's game breaking groundbreaking uh but it's all right and it's a nice little game. I think it's only available on Steam. Just for it's got it's, it's like fires randomly showing. Is that I think it's a guy. Anyway, yeah, it's an interesting game. I would recommend it actually if you're willing to take a bit of jankiness. It's not a bad game at all. And I would assume it's still getting updates and stuff. And it's a pretty fun little game with some cool ideas. So yeah, thanks for watching, big boys. See you some point in time and Bye.